Hello, hello. Got my brushes ready. Oh, what am I like? I haven't even started. I've got paint on my face already. Oops. Don't worry, it's not blood. That would be really weird. That's a strange colour. It's just a bit of magenta paint. Oh no, I'm making it worse. <laughs> okay, ignore that. <laughs> Hello anyway. Hi, I'm Silka. Uh, heart for Art. I teach people step by step how to paint online and in my studio. Welcome to this week's Hearty Tips with Silka with paint on my face. <laughs> I always do that. I go to get my hair out of my face and I smear it on my face. So that's not blood, it's paint coming off my face. All right, we are going to have some fun today. Let me just turn that so you can see what I'm working on. And um, essentially today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple, super fun, little cheerful flower painting. Now this is a simplified version of my Anzac Poppy painting. Um, that would be this one here. You may have seen it. This is a very fun, happy, colourful painting. Lots of little flowers, lots of lovely flower detail, colourful flowers, big flowers, little flowers, poppies, a bit of lavender, a bit of everything in that one. So today I'm simplifying that for you um, because I basically I wanted to give you um, a little something just as a bit of an icebreaker, like a bit of a warm up painting because I know that, you know, a lot of you, I, you know, get a bit stuck, you know, a little bit nervous to start. So this, I wanted to give you a bit of a warm up painting today. I'm going to hear on my a, a bristle, new brush, bristle. Um, and I wanted to tell you how you can learn to paint my Field of Poppies painting as well. Um, you can do that with me online or in the studio. So I'll tell you about that. So say hi as you're coming on. Um, let me know where you're joining me from. Um, now I haven't created this painting that I'm doing today before. I'm literally just kind of making it up as I go along, just because that's fun to do sometimes, you know. I'm just going to start with a bit of sky background, um, and I'm just going to create it live with you here today. So let me know what your favourite flower colour is, and I'll see if I can add that in as well. Um, so I'm just starting with a bit of sky. I'm going to put a few clouds, a few cloud patches in. Um, but, you know, just last week... Um, the reason I thought to do this today, to just do a little bit of an icebreaker painting, was just last week and almost every week when I paint with people in the studio, they, you know, they come in, a lot of them come in a bit nervous, especially the ones who have never painted before, you know, they come in a bit nervous and they're like, oh no, it's going to be horrible, and they're nervous, and it's like, no, painting is supposed to be fun, um, not nerve-wracking. So, um, you know, but then I see, I, I assure them, you know, it's going to be fine. And sure enough, a few strokes in, they're already like, oh, okay, this isn't actually so bad. Um, and they realise that it's fun and it's actually a whole lot, like, really, really easy. When someone's showing you exactly how to do it, it's not, it's nothing to be nervous about. I mean, that's, life is like that sometimes, isn't it? It's just that fear of the unknown. If you don't really know what to expect, it can be a bit nerve-wracking. Um, having a go for the first time but then afterwards you're like oh that was actually really fun <laughs> cool um, okay I'm gonna put a bit darker at the bottom um, so yeah today really is just a little bit about showing you a nice easy simple painting um, just so you know I wanted to share this one as a warm-up painting for you um, you know if you're one of those people who's a bit nervous about getting started maybe you've always wanted to get started painting but you're just a little bit nervous um, and you haven't quite crossed that line yet into giving it a go, then today is especially for you. And I just want to show you how fun and easy painting can be, all right? So so let me know if that's you. Um, type a one if, if you are a nervous first time painter. Type a one in the comments if you're a nervous first time painter. Um, or type a two in the comments if you have started painting when you just want a bit of a bit of help, a bit of, a, bit of a few ideas, a bit of guidance, um, you want to learn a few th new things, um, just let me know. Um, right, I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I'm going to do some land now. No, some grass, some, some grassy land, or maybe some hills, some dark hills. There we go, I'll do some darker hills. So I'm just in my background first. So, clearly this is not going to be... Um, 
the flowers this is just the background for the flowers so I'm just going to do some nice greenery and like I said it's the it's a simplified really simplified version of my poppy painting my field of poppies I'll show you again because it's just so cool I just love this one it's just got so many happy flowers just a lovely little field of happiness all beautiful bright colors and flower happiness I love this one so yes I'm, I'm simplifying it for you today um, so that you know if you're a bit nervous to paint this one's a nice easy one to get started on just as an icebreaker to give you a warm-up um, and then if you're feeling comfortable you know you can come and paint my puppies with me so this one I created um, for Anzac Day here in New Zealand we celebrate the we, we commemorate anyone who's ever fought in wars for us any any war anywhere ever so Australia and New Zealand Army Corps, um, we, we commemorate them and say thanks essentially for fighting for us and dying for us. So um, every year we celebrate on Anzac Day with poppies and so that's why I created this one. Um, oh, I might do a smoother blend actually, I've just decided. I'm, like I said, I'm making this one up as I go along. All right. Say hi as you're coming on, let me know where you're watching from. Okay, so this is just the background, remember? So it doesn't really matter what that one looks like, because that is the background. Um, but you know, I, I really enjoyed painting that poppy painting. It's just so easy and so lovely and colorful. Um, hang on, I've just got to dry it. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to dry it. I'm just going to paint my poppies, my, my cut, my painting, my flowers rather, on top. Sorry, my words are not working so well today. Um, now, the poppy painting, is, and this one, is just lovely because you can just make up your own colours. All right, I'm going to add some yellow. Yeah, load my brush and just put some nice bright dots. Loading my brush here. Um, but you can do this one, you can do any colours you want. Um, you can do bright colours, dull colours, more colours, less colours. You can do any ones you want. And the same is true for my poppy painting. Um, you get to choose the colours. If you, you know, you can follow along when I'm painting and paint the colours you like, or you can create your own colours. Um, what's your favourite flower? Tell me what your favourite flower is, you know? Um, and I might be able to add those colours as well. Oh, red. Oh, I like the red. Might do some bigger ones as well, actually. Yeah. So this is all I'm really doing is a few dots next to each other. These are my poppies, you see? I want the poppies to be bigger. Um, now, sometimes, like today, for example... Facebook doesn't work so well and the comments aren't working. So if you're commenting, I'm not seeing them. Somebody give me a, any kind of comment so I know there's someone there. Um, so when you paint with me in this online, the poppy painting, that one I will send you a full supply list and all the colours so you'll know exactly what you need to get and what how you need to prepare for your painting. You get a three hour session with me, three to four hours depending on how fast everyone paints three to four hours of me showing you how to paint um, beautiful field of poppies you can let me know what your favorite painting is and um, I, uh, what your favorite flower is and I can I can show you how to paint that um, I've had some I've had some requests for buttercups already and irises last week when I did some irises um, I might do some bigger ones I might add some orange as well actually I'm just having a little bit of crazy fun here. Um, so yeah, online, three to four hour session, you can paint at home and, you know, online at your own pace. And of course there's a replay, you can watch the replay as many times as you want, paint at your own pace. Um, and it's only $22.50 and you can watch it as many times as you want. If you want to, you know, paint multiple fields of poppies, if you've got birthdays coming up, for example, and you want to paint multiple fields of poppies, then you can, you can totally do whatever you want watch it as many times as you want oh that's a nice combination um so yeah all you have to do is go to my website heartforart.co.nz grab your tickets 
and then join me online for a bit of painting fun. Um, so this is a really simplified, easy version. Uh, I'm going to do some orange now. I'd like some orange. I'm going to put the orange on there. And it's a nice, simple, easy one. And I'm going to just, um, while the paint is still wet, I'm just turn my brush up the other way. While the paint is still wet, I might just put a few, you know, things in the bottom there. Um, and so, like, like I said, this is a very simplified, easy version, if you've just joined me, of my Field of Poppies painting. Lots of fun, colourful, really easy to paint flowers. Um, it's a super fun, happy one, really easy to paint, and I will be painting that one online this weekend and also in the studio uh, on Monday for Anzac Day. Um, also a three to four hour session and it's just fun and it's a nice social environment everyone will be painting together i'll provide all your materials if you join me in the studio um what color should i add next give me some tips on what colors i'm not sure my facebook comments is working though because i can't see anybody's comments maybe i'll add some more down the bottom um but yeah the studio paint party i, I provide everything for you you know your canvas your paints your brushes everything I'll provide it all for you. I want some pink. I want some lighter pink. I'm going to mix some pink. Um, and afternoon tea. Yum, yum, yum. Lots of cake and tin pans and goodness. And it's just a nice social fun environment to, you know, learn to paint in. you with other people that are potentially learning for the first time. And it's just a really nice fun social environment. Um, oh, hello, Judith. Hi. Thanks for joining me. Um... What colour shall I add next, Judith? I'm just making this up as I go along. Um, they're getting a bit clustered now. Maybe I'll add a pink and purple one. There we go. Really simple. Like I said, it's a very, very simplified version of my um, poppy painting, which I will be teaching online and in the studio this weekend. Head over to my website, heartforart.co.nz, if you want to join me, grab a ticket. Um, I know there's... There's a few spots left. I don't know how many. Um, hello, hello, Julie from in New Zealand. Where in New Zealand are you, Julie? I'm in Wellington. Where are you? In a slightly brisk, chilly Wellington today. I might just. Um, um, but yeah, look, um, this this painting looks complicated. I mean, I'm doing a really simplified version today. But if, if you think in any of my paintings that you see on my website are complicated, they are not. I break them all down nice and easy, super easy to do. Um, and I don't know, I must be just channeling a few flowers at the moment because I've got lots of flowers coming up. Um, I'm doing a Pahutakawa blossom for Mother's Day as well. Paint, come paint with your mum. Or paint, paint flowers for your mum. Um... Or even even um, bring your mum to paint. She'll love it. Imagine you could just quality mother-daughter time painting together. You'll have a blast. It'll be fun. I'm just I'm just making this up as I go along. You're in Mochueka. Ah, right over just just over the ditch. I'm I'm on the very south coast of Wellington. So if I were to look out my window, I would I would be able to wave to you pretty much. Love Mochuka. Nice beaches down there, haven't you? Beautiful beaches. I don't know if I'm liking this edition of the darker lines. I quite like the light lines. Maybe we'll just add some grass at the bottom like, like this. Yeah, a bit of texture. A bit of grass. Easy. Um, just literally just making this up as I go along. What else should I put in? What other colours? Does anyone want me to put another colour in? I'm just adding a bit of grass at the bottom for a bit of texture. But like I said, I want to keep this really simple, just as a bit of an icebreaker for you to see how fun and simple painting can be. Because it really is. If you've got someone saying, you know, use this brush, use that colour, um, you know, you can't go wrong. I've not had anyone leave my studio yet with a painting they don't love. So, 
Um, I know that if you join me online or in the studio, that you will easily be able to create your painting. There we go, I've got a few little, I'll just use, I've just flipped my brush over. Thanks, Julie, I'm enjoying this. Sometimes I paint with an idea in my head and a full sketch already drawn out, um, as you may have seen on some of my other lives. Um, but sometimes I like to just make it up as I go along. Um, this one's fun. It's just quite cheerful and, you know, colourful. I just wanted it to be colourful. I'm feeling like I want more flowers, so um, let me know if you want me to put any other colours on, if there's any colours that are missing. Oh, daisy. We'll put some white daisies. Just imply some daisies. I'm not going to do all the petals, but just some white daisies. Yeah. Um, just nice and easy. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to be an absolute genius artist to enjoy painting. You just don't. If you just look, all I'm doing is a few little dabs on the canvas. Lots of little dabs to just create my little field of flowers here. That's all I'm doing. That's easy. There's some nice little ones down here. Maybe some white as well. It's just easy and fun. I don't know what these bluebells or something, little bluebells maybe. Can you see those? Let me show you closer. It's literally just lots of little dabs of colour. See? Nice and easy. Nice thick application of paint with a few scratches in the, in the green. Um, and that's all I'm doing. Really easy. What other colour shall I add? I'm, I'm getting a bit carried away here. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I haven't got enough orange. I might put a bit more orange in. Maybe some smaller ones of orange. There we go. Yeah, nice. And some little ones at the bottom, a bit of yellow as well. This is this is one serious. Actually, I I had some seed packets um, of just spring flowers that I um, literally just sprinkled in my pot plants on my deck outside my office, and they're all coming up, and they just look lovely. They just look really lovely, and they just all random colours, pretty much like this, really, and they just look really nice. And I'm so happy I just took the time, you know, a minute or two to just sprinkle them on my on my pot plants because they would just grow and with weeds anyway. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I'm getting a bit carried away. I'm I'm quite liking this though. I'm i yeah I'm liking this. Look at that, isn't that lovely? And it just really didn't take me long at all. And honestly, if you can hold a paintbrush, you can do that as well. Yeah, super fun, super colourful ridiculously super easy simple flower painting um so yeah i showed you today how easy it is and how much fun painting can be um so i hope you enjoyed that and go and have a practice go and have a practice with this one it's nice and easy try some different colors try some different backgrounds just have a bit of fun with it you know um and then if you'd like to join me in the studio once you've had your practice with this one to paint this one beautiful happy bright flowery colors this one made me so happy to paint um, even there's like the lavender and the grasses and stuff on the side um, so yeah go and have a practice do this one and if you want to come and join me to paint the um, field of poppies I'm painting it online and in the studio this coming weekend Sunday and Monday um so that is that is um all on my website go and have a look there heartforart.co.nz on the home page there is uh they're both on the home page actually the both the poppies are on the home page just click on whether you want to do it virtually and paint with me online from the comfort of home or if you want to join me in the studio and get the full art experience and i will provide everything for you um, then they're both on my website. All, all the information is there. And there's, there's the Pahutakawa Power, if you want to paint Pahutakawas with your mum on Mother's Day next month. Um, and there's a sunflower there on demand. There's flowers everywhere. I must be just in a flower mode at the moment because <laughs> flowers are happy. Flowers make me happy. Painting makes me happy. So double whammy happy. 
Um, so yeah, thanks for watching me. I hope you enjoyed that and see you online or behind a paintbrush again really soon. Bye.